Hey guys, welcome back to Yankee Valley Outdoors. And in today's video, we are going to be planting some of our American chestnuts from last year. So with some of these, with these trees, I ended up potting them in dirt that I thought was good. And the dirt turned out to have like no nutrition, I guess nutrition for the trees at all. So the trees did not grow the greatest. They did not grow the way I wanted them to. And their root systems didn't grow as good as I thought they would. I sifted the dirt and that was a mistake because when I went to take it out, all of it fell off and it just, it was a mistake. So then I repotted them and I was like, okay, I was told by this guy, he said, you have this, I have this type of potting soil, mix this potting soil with this potting soil. And he said, it makes like the perfect thing. So I used that and it didn't work. It hasn't worked that good. So to, in today's video, we are going to be finally planting these American chestnut trees. I hope I didn't say potting in the beginning, I meant planting. So let's get right into it. Let's get these trees planted up. Hey guys, so what I got right here are some of our American chestnuts from last year. And as you can see, they have leaves on them, but they haven't been doing the best because the soil I repotted them in last year was pretty poor. I'm learning a lot more about what soils to plant young trees in and topsoil, mixing two different types of topsoil together, is not a good idea. I've learned that you either want to use peat, or you want to use miracle Grow or some type of, some type of potting mix. So, we're going to get these ones in the ground today, here at our location. This will be the location where we will plant the trees for the American Chestnut Project. I'll go over this in a better video. It's getting kind of dark now, so I don't know how much you can see, but we got a bunch here we got some more i gotta go get got a flashlight so we're gonna get started planting these and i hope you guys enjoy the video so i'm gonna get to planting and i'll be back in a few minutes all right guys so here we have one under its cover i broke some pine branches off and put it around it so it'd be safe from the safe from the deer Go up here. Got another one encapsulated with the pine. Another one protected by the pine. It should throw the deer off because I don't think they want to accidentally get this in their mouth. And go up here. Encapsulated by the pine. Should be nice and safe now. Where's the other one? Right here. And there's another one. So they should be nice and safe. When I was working and planting, my shovel broke, so that's unfortunate, but got most of them in the ground. Thank you guys for watching. This video wasn't the longest, but it was kind of me just running through what I was doing, getting these trees planted. Yeah, I'm learning from my mistakes. Now, after this year using miracle Grow and not having the best of luck either, I will from now on stick with peat. Using peat moss to grow small trees works the best. It's worked amazing with my hybrid chestnut trees. So from now on, we will use it and it alone with our American chestnut saplings as well. You can't go wrong with peat. Don't use miracle Grow. you don't need it. I mean, you can water with miracle Grow once a month, but try to stick with just plain old peat moss. Next year, I am set. I know exactly what I'm doing from learning from my mistakes. Next year, we are going to have a great year for American chestnuts. This year was good. This year was okay, but next year, we're gonna have a year where we don't lose many trees at all because I know what I'm doing and I know how to properly care for the trees. Everything's trial and error and over time you gain experience and that's what I'm doing. I'm learning from my mistakes. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later.